This is Space Engine, I'm Obsidian Ant, and today we're going to go on a tour through space. Now, Space Engine, for those of you that don't know, is a fully simulated universe. You can go absolutely anywhere within it, any planet, any star, any galaxy, any nebula, literally anywhere you can imagine. The galaxies out there are full of natural wonders, full of beauty. It's absolutely stunning places like these two massive planets here. Now, these two planets are extremely hot, very close to their local star. The one in the background there is a gas giant, and this planet here is known as a scorched desert. Despite the massive surface temperatures, it also has a wonderful backdrop. Traveling around the galaxies is extremely easy. You can go up to many thousands of times the speed of light and see all the types of interstellar bodies, including black holes and extremely dense star clusters like you can see just there in the distance. Now, whilst space is vast and many bodies out there exist in complete isolation, there are many of them also that exist very close to each other, like the planets here, this massive gas giant and its rather impressive moons. Every object within Space Engine also has full orbital and rotational mechanics, and you can see that in full effect here, as I enabled real-time time lapses. You can accelerate time by multiples of many hundreds. And hovering over the surface of planets while this is going on really does convey the absolute magnitude of nature. When down here on Earth, it's easy to forget that everything we witness down here is simply a microcosm of something much vaster than exists out there. Something infinitely large in terms of size as well as time. And even sitting here with time accelerated by many thousands of factors, we could literally find ourselves witnessing these same motions for many millions of years. Closer to the surface of planets, we see all manner of geological formations. Now this is another scorched desert, and you can see that it has a very hot looking atmosphere. There are many other types of planets out there, including terror worlds, water worlds, and ice worlds. But even with all them, gas giants proved to be a constant source of inspiration, and very little compares to the sheer beauty of ringed gas giants. Humanity, perhaps, as explorers at heart, have searched every coast and every mountain of our world. Yet out there, in the depths of space, exist entire realms unexplored. A frontier that as of yet we have extremely little knowledge of. A place that no one has yet visited with sights unwitnessed. Yet this great unknown, this vast abyss, cold as it is, attracts us with a fire that fuels our imagination. Since the dawn of time, man has stood here on the surface of our home world, looking up at the stars and imagined, imagined what is out there, in a realm so inspiring that at one time we imagined God striding amongst the stars. And whilst we are still trapped down here on the surface of planet Earth, our imagination has not abated. We dream of the possibilities that may exist out there, and now technology has given us the ability to step inside those dreams. Dreams constructed from numbers, from computer code, creating worlds as infinite in scope as those that exist out there in space. And whilst access to those realms now exist only as a remote possibility in some far distant future, we can at least now do far more than just dream. Inside these virtual realms, we can create entire universes, we can explore them, we can share them. And perhaps for the first time in history, massive groups of us can walk within a common dream. A dream not just limited in scope to what is physically possible, but rather a dream unlimited, unchained and unbound, in a world as full of possibilities as our imagination and the universe itself moving to the outer bounds of the universe or down to the smallest molecule. Witnessing such worlds is now but just a single step away. And who knows what possibilities, what creations could be born from such endeavours. In an age where imagination can be manifested into a virtual reality, a virtual reality that could perhaps allow other people to experience the unique perspective of a lone individual, or perhaps even entire cultures. The ability to experience entire new worlds is within our hands, from the worlds of the terrifying to the worlds of the beautiful, from the worlds of the unknown to the worlds of the common everyday events. We now live in an age where we will be able to have experiences that transcend what we once thought possible. 
And back there, we left a planet and then travelled across the universe itself, passing many galaxies, probably travelling across many billions of light years. And here, we find ourselves within a spectacular nebula. Now, even at this speed, we're travelling at many times the velocity of light, and the nebula perhaps seem a little more cloudy than you'd imagine, but if we were to slow right down, they'd soon form a very static backdrop. In the distance there, again many hundreds of light years away, you can see another nebula, and we accelerate right up, and then once again slow down as we enter within it. These places are very beautiful, and they're full of systems, full of planets, some of them even with life. And standing down on the surface of these planets, looking up at a sky such as this, it's very hard not to be awed. That's something that I'll be showing you in a future video of Space Engine, but here, we're down on a moon, a moon that's actually a large asteroid orbiting another planet, both of them extremely close to their parent star. A common theme so far within this video has been the scorched desert type surface, but as common as they are, they can look dramatically different from one planet to another. And here, the brightness of the local star has been dimmed somewhat to allow us to even see. We will travel momentarily along the surface of this asteroid moon before once again moving up into orbit and then onwards into space, but this time we're not travelling very far. We're merely going to the planet around which this moon is orbiting. A planet marked by the intense heat of this sun, but a planet which is nonetheless extremely beautiful. This is our universe. This is Space Engine, I'm Obsidian Ant, and as always, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys and girls next time. Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant, and I'm here to talk about the Distant Worlds Expedition, a journey to the opposite side of the galaxy, over 65,000 light years away. It's a journey that's going to be undertaken by the largest fleet ever assembled in game, with over 700 players signed up. This is an odyssey which has never before been attempted, yet as players cross the largest game world ever created, they will see sights no one in the inhabited space has ever seen. In the background you can see just a few of the things I've experienced on my extensive travels into the depths of this galaxy. A galaxy which holds many wonders.